Yes! <laughs> Come on! So, I'm gonna mix things up. I wanna do more of like a quiz and okay. just feeling like a true or false sort of game. Go on. Um, you know what? Don't worry about it. Wait. No, don't worry about it. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna dive in because I know you know a lot about social media and I wanna just throw out five statements about social media and you just simply tell me by your gut instinct, true or false, myth or reality. Sounds easy enough. All Let's right, cool, cool, cool. I'm on social media. I have a ton of followers. Therefore, I am successful on social media. I'm gonna guess true, right? Because the more social media followers you have, the more successful you end up being. Yeah? Myth! Ah. <laughs> I don't like this game. And uh, next. So, no pressure. It's a little pressure. When it comes to social media, it's like really difficult to see a return on investment. It's hard to measure it. True or false? I'm scared. <laughs> true? What? True. Myth. <laughs> Come on. So the reality is, <laughs> the reality is there's a ton of ways to actually measure and track social media. With Facebook, you have likes and insights tab. With Twitter, you have your top tweets. And with Instagram, you have engagement rate. Okay. And from there, you can see that what you're posting is a good strategy and therefore, you know what to do next. You get your return on investment. Yeah, you see your return on investment. So, so they each have analytics and they each have metrics. You just have to pay attention. So that's super helpful, but I really don't like this game. <laughs> Got another one. Um, social media, it's really only used for marketing purposes. That's its main purpose. Um, false, right? <laughs> because <laughs> social media is about just connecting with your audience and building relationships and just being a part of the community, right? Right on! Yes! All right! You got it right! Let's do this! I got this! <laughs> Number four. All right. True or false? Businesses need to pay for advertising to be successful on social media. True. Like, the more you pay, the more successful you are. That's math. Math! God! <laughs> right in that spot. <laughs> um, sorry, but myth. You There's a lot of ways you can do free. <laughs> So the reality is there's a lot you can do to get engagement and exposure and spread word of mouth about your business, starting with hashtags. They're free. Use Okay. Yeah, use hashtags. You can get in front of more customers. Also, just creating quality content that people are liking, sharing, commenting on. That's going to get you more exposure, get you in front of your customers' friends okay. and their friends and their friends. Last but not least, testimonials about your business that you're getting on Yelp and Google or TripAdvisor. Um, that's something you can turn into a social media post that's going to be authentic representation of your brand, of your business, and as a result, you get more new customers because it's authentic. And it's and free. And it's free. I don't like this game. <laughs> well, you're in luck. There's only one more true or false question. I can post the same thing on Facebook that I'm posting on Instagram and I'm posting on Twitter. The same content works across all platforms. If I don't answer, do I get hit? Just go with um, your gut. So you can post the same content across. It saves you a bunch of time because you have to run a business, right? You've got a bunch of stuff you need to do. So that just aggregate it all out. Oh my gosh, it saves you so much time. But so much time, right? Myth. Wow. Myth. The reality is something that might just excel on Facebook could fall flat on Twitter something that goes on Instagram and really resonates with your audience there, because you have a different audience there, might not resonate with your audience on Facebook. So you have to acknowledge each platform for not only who's following you there, but also right. the demographics, also just the content itself. Each platform is different, right? So I know with Twitter, you want to keep it more short and sweet. Plus certain hashtags work great on Twitter. That won't work great on Facebook or Instagram. So you really want to acknowledge the differences between each platform. Even the fact that certain days of the week will work on Instagram. Maybe Tuesday works better on Instagram, but Thursday works better on Facebook. Okay. I so, mean, 
that that makes sense, I guess, but I'm still wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a wrap. We have officially debunked the five social media myths. Thanks for being here. I'm Emma, your GoDaddy guide. I'm Neely, your GoDaddy guide. You know what, Emma? No hard feelings. This has been a ton of fun. I learned a lot. The audience learned a lot. Bring it in. Thanks.